Okay, so I mostly agree with Kant's ethics, be mainly because of his point that we cannot help everybody with everything that they need, and we can't be talented at everything and be successful in every endeavor, and I think that that's something that you should always take to heart, and, like, not just in the little things, but, like, just in life in general, especially being a college student and being someone that's changed my major before, um, it's important to just realize that not some things are just not for you and to focus on the things that you're good at and um just make the best of your talents and yeah so um i also appreciate his point that we should respect other people and the maxims that they've chosen and that um we should just always be respectful of people and one thing that i did learn in anthropology that like i think about it all the time and I've probably said it in a video before is that there are everybody has a million different reasons for the choices that they make and we can never fully understand why without being in their shoes so I think it's just important to let people um, like live their life with the maxims that they've chosen um, I do however disagree on his point that we cannot speak to the transcendent reality that we have no access to because I do believe that humans are definitely capable of understanding things that are beyond our capabilities but like theoretically go beyond our capabilities and the scope of the physical world and personally a lot of that has to do with my personal religion but I feel like that definitely still applies to people that don't believe in a god and they don't consider themselves religious um, and in that aspect, I do appreciate the fact that he doesn't try to come up with some theological replacement for the basis of morality. And he kind of plays it safe in the sense that he um, understands and uh, he just understands that some people do use religion as a basis for their morality. And from his perspective, perspective I do... I believe he doesn't think that religion is necessarily hurting people, but it kind of, he kind of takes the approach of no harm, no foul. And I chose this over utilitarianism because the theory of utilitarianism can still be turned into something negative and kind of skewed if the majority is being selfish and also because I think the idea of good, good is subjective and like I said, everyone has a different million a million different reasons for the decisions that they make and the way that they act and the way that they treat other people but um yeah one of the main reasons i chose this over utilitarianism is because it places emphasis on respecting people and um yeah <laughs>